at YouTube. I clipped this just to show off my thoughts on some upcoming content. If you want to check out the full video, please check it out in the card to the right. Otherwise, enjoy this short piece. Drop a like on the video and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, let's get started. Uh, lastly, we have Rude's event. Uh, oh, Rude, he's got a lot of hype behind him. Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> and for good reason. Rude is definitely hype for a good reason. Again, there's no one character that's going to carry you through all Lufeni. I'm sure people are waking up to that slowly as they bring lightning to Cannon's Lufeni and then they have to respect the orb anyways and they get slashed. But he's a good character. He's a good slot in the team to fill the healing role. He's got good offensive capabilities while also healing on all his skills. All his buttons, battery, and all his skills heal. He has three frame buffs for himself, and that's it. Um, he's got solid auras. I don't quite know them. I know he's got attack, max brave. I think he has some brave reduction aura for the party, which is nice. Um, his LD is really the cornerstone of the kit of this kit. He converts all overheals, aka heals that go beyond 100% of your health, into bravery. So, say you're at you're at full health and you heal, and you don't normally get a benefit from that. Rude will convert those heals to battery, and he amps it by like, excuse me, 500%. Functionally, this means Rude is an insane battery on all of his skills, and he can enable some fun shenanigans with other heals. Any healing becomes bravery if you're full on health, not just Rude. So HP regen will become brave regen. Uh, counter heals like traps and, and traps like Gao and Ferian go straight to brave. Um, Kamari's heal and attack skill, I don't know what it is. I think it's a skill one, but he, he heals and then he does a brave attack. No, it's, it's the Lancet skill where he... Uh, he heals and then he, he does brave refund and does the kit. That, that move gets a lot better. And Kamari has good HP regen too. So he, Kamari and Rude is also a very good pair. There's just a lot of insane possibilities. Like Aerith's Healing Wind, it already has good battery, but now it'll definitely cap or her, her uh, EX. I could go on. Rude's a really functionally cool character. Uh, Yuffie and Twins get boards, but they're kind of dead. Well, no, Yuffie's not dead. Let me not slander her because this dude's been running Yuffie in every Lufenia <laughs> that's existed. So, uh, <laughs> Yuffie hype, she's better, better, uh, if you use her for wave farming, she's better for that. Twins get boards. Uh, Rude's call, I didn't look it up, but I think it's just a, a, a heal. I'll look it up right now. I don't think it's anything special. It's probably like an Embrave buff. Uh, let's see, Crush Hammer raises party's HP based on HP damage dealt. So it's just a heal call. It's nice to have if you need to heal real quick. All right, Lufenia. It's a bit of a breather from the previous three, but it's still fairly challenging. It's Thunder Null and Heavy Range Resist. Is it range and magic resist? Let me double check. But uh, it, it would definitely resist Thunder and keep moving. Um, the condition isn't quite a damage race. And the bosses need to be less than 10k brave after your turn ends. So it is yep, heavy range and magic resist. Um, the the bosses regen brave after their turn ends. So I'm trying to think of a good example of it, but I can't, so I won't. Um, but they need to be less than 10k brave after your turn ends, or else the orb will tick down, and you can't increase it at all. So. It's a semi DPS race, but you need to have very good brave shape or instant break. So this is for people like Strago will come in extreme clutch here, provided you uh, enchant him. They have three mass levels. Normal is white. Uh, yellow is when they start getting a little angry, and red they get nasty. Um, at white they have brave regen. At yellow they have HP regen, and at red they have what ah, brave and HP regen. You don't want them red. Although they're gonna force themselves into red at their certain HP thresholds. Anyways, breaking them sends them down a level, and after every turn, they advance a level. So um, you wanna keep breaking them regardless. If they get red, uh, time to panic. <laughs> you need really good AoE damage here. They like the HP attack, which is where Rude comes in. Um, they hit hard too, so Rude's Brave Reduction comes in handy as well. Uh, at certain points, points during the fight, they will force themselves into red and gain Warrior of Light Shields. I don't think they have a mechanic that uh, makes them insta-kill you, but you don't want them to be in red. So being able to cut down those shields very quickly uh, is pretty much a necessity. They like the HP attack as well. Gladio is a monster here because of his splash counters. Um, and he'll, he'll eat a lot of their HP attacks, but you need to also kill them in the first place because gladio's brave shave is not too stellar as for the challenge i don't remember which means it probably wasn't that bad uh root is the only synergy heal so bring pinello's call per usual and alex and you'll be fine pulls i'm getting rude he's too good very enjoyable character he can fit almost anywhere and his interactions with 
countless members of the, the party. Uh, like Gal, Gladio, Rude is like you're capped on battery all the time. You can do some insane stuff with Rude. I recommend everyone pick him up. He is stellar. All right. Hope you enjoyed the clip. Please drop a like on this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Please be sure to check out the full video in the card and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.